When a radioactive atom goes through alpha or beta decay, the atom itself changes into a different element. For example, carbon-14 decays into nitrogen-14 when it emits beta radiation. It's impossible to predict when an individual atom might decay because it's completely random. What you can do is measure the time it takes for half the atoms in a radioactive substance to decay. We call this a half-life. We can use graphs to find out the half-life of a radioactive substance. All we have to do is measure the count rate over time and plot the decay curve. As you can see, the count rate drops from 100 to 50 in two days, from 50 to 25 in another two days, to 12.5 and so on. Alpha and beta decay can be represented through nuclear equations. An alpha particle consists of two protons and two neutrons. This means that the mass number of an atom would decrease by 4 and the atomic number by 2. For example, radon-219 would decay into polonium-215 and emit an alpha particle in the process. This is represented in an equation like this. In beta decay, a neutron changes into a proton and a high-energy electron is released. The nucleus now has one less neutron but one more proton, so the mass number stays the same but the atomic number increases by one. For example, thorium-234 decays into productinium-234 and a beta particle is released. As you can see, the beta particle has a minus one as its atomic number to represent the additional proton that was added. Seems a little counterintuitive, but that's just the way it is. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see some more. You can also follow me on Twitter at DoodleSci if you want to.